Uh, the question is about, you know, how many people should we train, right? Is it uh, how many people should we train? Should we train many people to be able to lay hand on people? Is that the question? Ni kwamba right? ni watu angapi na waweza kuwafundisha ili tuwafundishe kuhusu maombi. If we read Romans chapter, um, I mean no, Mark chapter 16, verses 15 to 20. Tukisoma Marko kumna tano, ama ni kumna sita, kumna sita, kumna tano mpaka ishirini. They will talk about go to the whole world to all and preach the gospel to all creation. Tunamuriwa kuenda ulimwengu kote na kuubiri njili. And then verse 17, miracles will follow those who believe. They will drive out demons in Jesus' name. And they'll lay hand on the sick, they'll be healed. So verse 17 says that miracles will follow those who believe. So God's heart is that everyone can have miracles. Kwa hivyo neno la Mungu kwa eh, kila mmoja wetu neno la Mungu linasema utafanya miujiza ama miujiza itakufuata. But people who don't handle their problems in their life and they don't have a close relationship with God then we have to help them spiritually first. Na kwa wale ambao ha, ha, wanaishi katika dhambi tunaweza kuwasaidia kwanza watubu ndio sasa miujiza na ishara ipate kuwafuata. And then when they are when they have a close relationship with God and are willing to take care of their sins, then we can train them to pray for people. But at the same time, we should tell them that all people who serve should learn to be humble. And have a spirit of unity. Na ule, uko na roo ya umoja ya pamoja, ya and, and then they want to build up other people too. Na pia uwe katika sehemu ya kuweza kushawishi wenzako kuwajenga. And not to have comparison or pride. Na pia usijilinganisha na wengine ama usiwe na kiburi. So it's very important that they have good life qualities. Ni vizuri sana kwa wale waamini ambao tunawahudumia wawe mfano mzuri na wawe na maisha ya dhamani. And then they can lay hand on people. If, when they when we check that they don't have evil spirit. Kwa hivyo wewe kama mchungaji utakapofahamu huyu mtu hapagawi na mapepo, amejaza na Roho Mtakatifu, basi utamruhusu afanye kazi ya Mungu. So according to Mark 16 that everyone should be able to do it. Na katika Marko 16 inasema kila muamini and also when they pray for people, we should let them share what happened. And then also share, especially when they can bring someone to Jesus or have a miracle. And if we appreciate them, that will build up a spirit of unity. Revival comes to a church when many members in the church are revived and they are willing to serve God.